Question 9 says, complete the following plots. The system below is at equilibrium prior to T1. The system is suddenly cooled at T1. The system responds to the stress between T1 and T2 until it re-equilibrates at T2. So when the system is cooled, the equation will shift left to compensate for the loss of energy, which will result in an increase in N2O4 and a decrease in 2NO2. When this happens, um, the decrease in 2NO2 will be twice as much as the increase in N2O4 because the coefficient is 2 here and 1 here. The graph will look like this. This line will be twice as steep as this line as well, according to the coefficients. Then for N2O4, it will increase only by 1. The system will then reach equilibrium again at T2, and the concentrations will balance out. In another scenario, the system could be cooled more drastically and the graph would come out differently. Um, the two lines will still have the same ratio of, sl of um, slope, will come out looking differently. Here, this is still twice as steep as it is here, but it goes down by four and this one up by two. It then reaches equilibrium again at t equals two. To confirm the uh, concentrate or the equilibrium constant, the uh, equation would be Ke Keq equals the concentration of NO2 squared because the coefficient is two over N2O2. The initial concentrations for both are 0.9 for NO2 and 0.4 for N2O2. So the initial K equilibrium should be. Uh, 0.9 squared over 0.4, which is going to equal 2.025. Now, when it's cooled, the uh, K equilibrium should uh, decrease because of the loss of heat. So the new K equilibrium for the first graph, since it ends at 0.6 and or 0.7 and uh, 0.5 for our concentrations, so it would be 0.7 squared over 0 0.5, which is going to equal 0 0.9800. 0. And as you can see, the K equilibrium has decreased from the original. Now for this graph, the concentrations of, uh, concentration of NO2 is now 0 0.5 ending here, and for N2O2 it's 0 0.6 here. So the K equilibrium is going to be 0 0.5 squared over 0.6, which is going to be 4.4167, which also is lower than this one and this one. So when it's exponentially cooled, it'll get lower each time.